137 omission of a relative pronoun the relative pronoun is often omitted when it is the object of a verb or of a preposition he is the man whom i saw the book i bought is lost i know the day he came 138 a noun or pronoun in the possessive case should not be used as the antecedent or to a relative pronoun thus instead of writing i went to the man's house who is my friend we should write i went to the house of the man who is my friend exercise 14 a uh, join the following sentences with relative pronouns first i know the boy he did it second the book is lost i bought it third delhi is the capital of india it is an old city fourth This is the girl you helped her. Fifth, you gave me a pen. It is a good one. Sixth, here is the book you lost it. Seventh, I helped the man. Their houses were burnt down. Eighth, you have taught me a lesson. I shall not forget it. Ninth, these are my friends. They have come to see me. Tenth, a boy came to me. His name I do not know. 11th i shall tell it to ram you know him 12th a boy came to me i had never seen him before 13th this is a nice pen i bought it yesterday 14th the doctor prescribed a medicine for me i have bought it 15th i have got the thing i wanted it badly 16th you must obey me i am your superior 17th the cows are returning home they were grazing in the field 18th our headmaster is respected by all there he goes b point out the relative pronouns and their antecedents first the book which i bought is lost second my father whom you saw will come tomorrow third delhi which is the capital of india is an old city fourth Do you know the girl who came here? Fifth, but Nayak, whom you know, is the owner of the house that you saw. Sixth, this is the same book as I wanted. Seventh, such water as we found was impure. Eighth, attend to what I tell you. Ninth, it is the best novel I have ever read. Tenth, there is none here but knows me. Eleventh. She is the only girl that was present. Twelfth, this is the book you gave me. Thirteenth, where is the boy I sent to you? Fourteenth, he is a scholar who has won great fame. Fifteenth, the dog that saw the fox ran after it. Sixteenth, there goes our headmaster, who is respected by all. Seventeenth, there is no mother. but loves her child 18th the people who are poor begged for help 19th this is what we all want 20th bring me the book that is on the table 21st i know none but was aware of it see fill in the blanks first such boys dash were absent will be pu- punished second only such things are wanted dash will help us third this is the boy dash i saw there fourth this is the girl dash told me the story fifth i am sorry for the boy dash brother is dead sixth i am sorry for the boy dash failed in the examination seventh there is no man dash does not wish to be happy eighth the same person dash helped me once will help me again Ninth, he is the most wicked person dash ever lived. Tenth, he is the only man dash knows the truth. Eleventh, what is it dash you want? Twelfth, the shepherd and the dog dash were on the hill were killed by the tiger. Thirteenth, it is the best thing dash may be had. Fourteenth, she is the only girl dash can do it. Fifteenth. Give me any pencil dash you can spare. 16th 
Many were the men dash I saw. Seventeenth, many were the men and countries dash I saw. Eighteenth, this is true dash I said before. Nineteenth, I who dash your master tell you this. Twentieth, you are the person who dash to blame. Twenty-first, you are the persons who dash to blame. Twenty-second, I am the man. who dash done the work 23rd it is i who dash guilty 24th i knows us who he sorry he knows us who dash his neighbors 25th it is too difficult for me who dash a mere boy 26th it is i who dash responsible for this 27th it is you who dash responsible for this 28 it is they who dash responsible for this many were the men dash i saw 17 many were the men and countries dash i saw 18 this is true dash i said before 19 i who dash your master tell you this 20 you are the person who dash to blame 21 You are the persons who dash to blame. Twenty second, I am the man who dash done the work. Twenty third, it is I who dash guilty. Twenty fourth, he knows us who dash his neighbors. Twenty fifth, it is too difficult for me who dash a mere boy. Twenty sixth, it is I who dash responsible for this. Twenty seventh, it is you who dash. responsible for this it is they who dash responsible for this page 55 interrogative pronouns 139 interrogative pronouns who which what with whose and whom ask questions who are you whom do you want what do you want which is the house they are also used to ask indirect questions tell me what you want i asked who he was 140 differences in use a uh, who is applied to persons and is indefinite who goes there that is the person is not known b which is applied to both persons and things and refers to one out of a group which of these do you want c what is applied to things and a person's profession what do you want what is he he is a doctor page 56 141 note carefully the following distinctions who is he inquires about the name or parentage of the person the answer should be of the form he is shri ramesh chandra bose or he is ramesh my son or he is ramesh of whom i spoke to you what is he inquires about the profession or society status the answer should be of the form he is a lawyer or a teacher which is he wants him to be pointed out from a definite group the answer should be of the form he is the man on the extreme right or with a black shirt on etc 142 the interrogative what is often used in exclamation in the sense of how great what folly what a clever boy you are 143 what not is placed after an enumerating almost in sense of etc he took with him books paper scissors and what not that means what else did he not take exercise 15 fill in the blanks with the interrogative pronouns first dash do you see there second dash is the name of the boy third dash are the things in your bag fourth dash is the best girl here fifth dash will he vote for sixth dash of the men there is your friend 
सेवन डैश इज दैट मैन देयर एट डैश इज ही डैश अ प्लेंडर और अ टीचर नाइन्थ डैश आर यू आर योर थिंग्स हेयर टेंथ डैश डू यू कंसिडर रॉन्ग इलेवेंथ डैश ऑफ दीज थिंग्स यू प्रेफर ट्वेल्थ डैश वर यू स्पीकिंग टू थर्टींथ डैश इज द मैन एन इंजीनियर फोर्टींथ डैश ऑफ दीज पेन इज योर्स फिफ्टींथ ऑफ डैश आर दे टॉकिंग सिक्सटींथ डैश शैल यू डू नाउ सेवनटींथ वॉट डैश डिड यू गो देर एटींथ डैश मटीरियल इज द टॉय मेड ऑफ नाइनटींथ डैश इज टू बी ब्लेम्ड फॉर दिस ट्वेंटियथ डैश ऑफ द बॉयज टू पार्ट इन द ड्रामा ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट टू डैश डिड यू गिव द बुक ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डैश आर यू स्पीकिंग टू ट्वेंटी थर्ड डैश शैल यू डू नाउ ट्वेंटी फोर्थ डैश पेन डू यू वॉन्ट डैश द रेड वन और द ग्रीन वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ डैश शैल आई चूज पार्था और संदीप डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव हाँ बोलो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रोनाउंस वन फोर्टी फोर ईच ईदर एंड नीदर आर कॉल्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रोनाउंस बिकॉज दे सेपरेट वन पर्सन और थिंग फ्रॉम अ ग्रुप वन फोर्टी फाइव either and neither are always used of two persons or things either means first each of two either will do oh my god 146 each is used at of any number say 2 or 50 each of the two or 10 boys was fined b each is always singular if it has no antecedent each has his own ideas c when the antecedent is plural each also is plural the boys each have done their works we each have done our works 147 distributive pronouns take singular pronouns and verbs neither of them is ill each of the girls has done her work page 57 reflexive am and emphatic pronouns 148 reflexive and emphatic pronouns are formed by adding self to my your him her it and selves to are your them myself yourself himself herself itself ourselves yourselves themselves 149 though the same in form they are different in use first they are reflexive when the doer is both the subject and the object of the action expressed by the verb i hurt myself he lost himself they hurt themselves second they are emphatic when used with nouns or pronouns for the sake of emphasis i myself saw the man and i saw the man himself are more emphatic than i saw the man number 3 sometimes the emphatic pronoun is separated from the preceding noun or pronoun i did it for myself 150 difference between reflexive and emphatic pronouns an emphatic pronoun is generally in a position with another word in the examples given in article 149 myself and himself are in a position with i and man respectively a reflexive pronoun never stands in this relation it refers to the subject but is never itself in the nominative case exercise 16 a fill in the blanks with verbs first each of them dash got a prize second either of these dash acceptable third neither of the girls dash present fourth neither of the things dash good fifth each of them dash come with books sixth neither of them dash done the work page 58 b 
say whether the pronoun with self or selves below are reflexive or emphatic first i hurt myself second he himself was present there third i myself know it fourth i know myself fifth i know it myself sixth he will do it himself seventh he gave himself much trouble eighth do not praise yourself so much ninth i do not like it myself tenth he talked of himself for a long time eleventh what do you know about yourself twelfth the poor animal will hurt itself thirteenth he availed himself of the leaf fourteenth they themselves were present there fifteenth do it yourself indefinite pronouns 151 indefinite pronouns do not point out any particular person or thing like the demonstrative but refer to persons or things in a general manner they are any one none ought not other another several many few all some they 152 any any as a pronoun is used only in interrogative and negative sentences it may be both singular and plural and may refer to both persons and things have you seen any man or dog there no i have not seen any i want a few chairs can you give me any 153 some some as a pronoun is plural and may be used for both persons and things some say he will come he has many books some are new some old 154 one as an indefinite personal pronoun one is always followed by one once and one and not by he his and him thus one must do one's duty one does not know when one will die if one is used numerically the personal pronouns that follow should be he or she and his one of the passengers has left his briefcase in the bus note when every or no stands before one use he she or him after it everyone did his duty no one knows when he will die 155 none it is a mistake to suppose that the pronoun is singular only and must at all cost be followed by singular verbs etc the oxford dictionary explicitly states that plural construction is commoner none of them is or are according to sense none of this concerns me none but fools have ever believed it 156 others always refer to persons and not things in the latter case other things or etc is used thus we say that ta bos patil and others were present but we cannot say idleness luxury extravagance and others were his ruins it can however be used of things only when the things already mentioned have been specially defined as the mango that you gave me and others are all are exhausted page 59 157 they are used indefinitely in the sense of people generally they say or a war will break out 158 many and few are sometimes used as substantive pronouns many are called but few are chosen the reciprocal pronouns 159 each other is generally used when two are referred to one another when more than two are referred to dat and sharma struck each other the boys fought with one another but this differentiation is neither of present utility nor based on historical usage in fact this distinction is not observed even by the best writers exercise 
point out the pronouns in the following sentences and clarify them in the case of relative pronouns point out their antecedents also first whose book is this second this is the book which i bought last year third who is to help you when you return home fourth they say the king who was ill has come round fifth the dog that i saw in the street is his sixth they played with one another seventh few have seen a book like it eighth i cannot allow such behavior as this ninth whoever wants to pass must attend to what his teachers say tenth who is he that is standing at the gate eleventh what is the meaning of this twelfth i myself saw the man thirteenth i saw the man myself fourteenth he cut himself with the knife which i had given him fifteen i shall avail myself of the leave sixteen he asked who i was seventeen there is none but wishes to be happy eighteen one must do one's duty chapter twelfth verbs principal and auxiliary one sixty verbs are divided into two main classes a uh, when a verb is used independently it is called a principal verb like call go work etc b when a verb is used only to help some other verb to form voices moods and tenses it is called an auxiliary verb the only verb that can be so used are can be have shall will may do page 60 161 most of the auxiliary verbs may also be used as principal verbs auxiliary pr- then principal auxiliary i am helped by him principal i am happy auxiliary he has gone principal he has a dog we eat that we may live he does not know i shall do it he will do it principal i am happy he has a dog you may go he did it you shall do it i will do it note let also is an auxiliary supplying first and third person of an imperative in exhortation command assumptions and permissions b some regard can as a principal verb with the indefinite without to follow it as an object he can do he can do it she can sing 162 principal verbs are divided into two classes a transitive verbs are those that require an object to make the sense clear he did this i love him who made it b intransitive verbs these verbs are those that do not require any object to make the sense clear he sleeps i run birds fly 163 causative verbs these are intransitive verbs used transitively in the sense of causing a thing to be done a few intransitive verbs have different forms to express the causative idea such as as set for sit fell for fall etc intransitive transitive transitive casual don't move transitive move the table birds fly he flies a kite water boils boil this water rise early raise your hands the tree falls he fell the tree with an axe sit here set the lamp here lie still lay it here rice grows here he grows rice in this field 164 factitive verbs are transitive verbs of incomplete predictions 
they are usually of naming making and thinking and require some other word or words besides their objects to complete the sense he called me a fool they made him king note the word or words that are required to complete the sense are called complements 165 copulative verbs are intransitive verbs of incomplete prediction requiring some other word or words besides the predict predicate verb to complete the sense he is ill she seems tired 166 passive passive verbs are verbs used in the active voice with the passive force rice sells cheap this fruit tastes sweet 167 subjective complements complements of intransitive and passive verbs relate to the subject and are called subjective complements he is a fool i was made president note the common intransitive verbs require such complements are verbs to be become seem appear remain look, look grow he is angry with me he became alert you seem displeased he looks miserable he remain disconnected he grew up quite healthy the verbs to be look grow remain became etc can also be used as verbs of complete prediction god is look at me this plant will not grow remain there such a conduct does not become you 168 objective complements complements of transitive and active verbs relate to the object and are called objective complements i struck him dead i saw him go note verb of naming making and thinking generally take objective complements he called me a fool we named him ramesh he made me miserable they appointed me chairman i consider him honest he thinks the man spiteful the objective com- complement may be used after other verbs too i cut him short he bought the house new he painted the house red 169 prepositional or group verbs these are verbs which grouped with prepositions are used as single transitive verb he laughed at them he acted on this rule 170 a transitive verb becomes intransitive when a the verb is used in such a general sense that the object can be easily understood from the context fire burns we eat to live b the reflective pronoun is omitted move aside he keeps aloof he drew near me c an adverb is added to the verb cholera has broken out d the verb is used quasi passively rice sells cheap 171 an intransitive verb becomes transitive when it is used a uh, grouped with prepositions he laughed at me we act on this rule b in a casual sense he flies a kite i grow corn in my field c with over and with placed before it we understood the attack he overcame the difficulties d with the reflective or personal object they sat them down e with the cognate object he ran a race note there are five different forms of cognate object first strictly cognate both in form and in meaning he lived a happy life he dreamt a dream he sang a song second strictly cognate in meaning but not in form he went a long way they fought a battle third partially cognate containing a noun deceptive of the cognate noun understood they shouted applause he ran a great risk he had to grope his way fourth an adjective qualifying the cognate noun understood he did his best he breathed his last he tried his hardest fifth cognate noun expressed by it we must fight it out they lauded it 
over us. Uh, they sorry, they loaded it over us. Six page sixty two. Exercise eighteen. A uh, pick out the verbs and state whether they are transitive or intransitive. In case of transitive verbs, pick out the objects. First, I know the boy who is there. Second, the sun shines in the sky and gives us light. Third, he went home and gave a doll to his sister. Fourth, put the lamp on the table. Fifth, he came yesterday and finished the work. Sixth, the boy hurt himself. Seventh, tell the truth if you would win respect. Eighth, the horse can run fast. Ninth, he cut his finger with a knife. Tenth, he told me the story. Eleventh, cows eat grass. Twelfth, the teacher rebuked her for she had not done her lesson. Thirteenth, everybody loves a good boy. Fourteenth, he lived a long life. Fifteenth, the tiger killed a goat and carried it away.